Hey everyone, I am here to record a what's in my makeup, my everyday makeup bag. This is it right here. And this is the stuff that I grab on a regular basis. Not every single thing in here, but um, if I have to overnight somewhere and I grab this bag, I pretty much have everything that I need in here. So let me get started. All right, so first things first is this mascara here. And uh, my mother gave this to me because she doesn't really wear um, makeup like that, probably just eyeliner. But she gave it to me and it's this Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. It's pretty decent. I have it on right now. I like it, but um, it's not that great for your lower lash line. It has a very strong smell. Like if you go in your eye, you'll have problems. It looks like this very sweet, very rich looking. I like the um, packaging. Very nice. So I just started using this like two days now. I put my brushes in this thing recently and this brush I use for like highlight and blush. And this one I use for a you little know, contour that I'm trying to do. And this is the e.l.f. blush brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk or whatever the name is. Um, this was like a limited edition. It's not the best brush because the bristles, it's not too soft and then they come off really fast. But um, I've <coughs> been using that for a few years now. This is the perfect shade for your um, waterline. If you want to brighten your eyes but you don't want to wear white because white could sometimes be too harsh. And this is the Wet n Wild color icon, Cold Eyeliner in Rosé Natural. My Holy Grail mascara. I try other mascaras, but I always go back to this mascara. And it's a great lash mascara, lots of lashes, with this application brush. for the lower lash line. I can't leave my house without doing my lower lashes. Sometimes um, I use this to put on my foundation or my the under eye concealer and this is a Eco Tools Kabuki brush. I've had this for years and years. As you guys know that I do not collect makeup stuff. It's like when I have something and it pretty much works for me, I just go with that. I don't collect makeup. This is the Pond's Clarence 3. I haven't used it yet, but I picked it up in the travel section in Target. And I said I need to get a smaller one of this because the big one doesn't fit in my makeup bag. Like if I'm, you know, traveling or the truck, where do I go? <laughs> like if I'm overnight in somewhere or whatever. So I haven't opened this yet, but I kid you not. Listen to me very carefully. This product helped diminish my pores. Before using this product, I didn't know it would do that. I pretty much bought it for I pretty much bought it for um, to remove any dark spots. But this did so much for my pores. I don't have a problem with my pores. Analia like a week later my pores were gone. So if you have like trouble with your pores and stuff like that, try this out, you wouldn't lose. This is the highlighter thingy that I use. It is a base bronzer, but this is in caramel from Black Radiance. This is a whole heap of goodies. Been using it for a while now. This foundation was recommended to me by a friend. I'm wearing it today and this is the Fit Me 355 foundation. It's the Mac Paul X1 and uh, yeah, 355 coconut. And I usually, I usually put on my foundation with my finger. My hands are clean. I can really, really rub it into my skin. I feel like it's the best results that way. I have this random brush, this random headband. 
This I've been using for a while now and it is the another color icon uh, with a white color icon eyeliner and it has a very interesting name but pretty much it's just a dark brown. And let me tell you, I have been using this for months on end and this is the only pencil I've been using. It's a little bit taller than your average um, liners but thinking back at it, when I used to use my Nika K liners I would have to buy like three four at a time because they would you know go down so fast I'll have to stop and trap and it would just go down in a couple of weeks I've been using this for months I tell you and I still have some more months to go so this is very good and I use this pretty much every day because after seven days out of the week I probably do my brows six days so this will last a pretty long time again it's the um but the white color icon line of eyeliner. I can't remember the name of it. It has a kind of tricky name, but it's pretty much a dark brown. This I got from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow thing. I spoiled mine. I got it from. I went and. I got it from Sephora, the girl matched me up with the color and everything, but when I came home and was using it, I find it was too dark, so I mixed it with foundation and that just spoiled the whole thing, like, and I paid a good bit of money for that, but this is what I used to glue my brows before I fill them in. This is another old but goodie, my holy grail foundation, this is the 3-in-1 from CoverGirl, and it is in shade Mocha. This Ruby Kisses eyeliner, it has a felt tip, it's kind of like a hit, a hit and miss type deal. I mean, this is my second tube of it, but um, hit and miss, it kind of like flakes off, rubs off, you know, depending. So I don't really use it during the warmer months because I feel it'll just rub off with my greasy lids. But um, it's not bad, it's pretty cheap. contour my face I always say I have to go to Sephora and get a you know a good con contour color but this is what I use so far and this is black radiance and this is in a shade rich mahogany and it's just a um, just a face powder this is the LA girl pro concealer that I finally found that looks kind of good underneath my eyes when I use the three-in-one foundation and it is in the shade toast be careful with these if you get them because if you don't use it for a few days water comes up literally just plain old water a old tube of my um holy grail mascara don't know why this is in here but this is usually not in here this is my um tweezer and lastly, I have this foundation in here that I got two summers ago from Sephora. I went and I got matched up and they matched me up with this foundation. I probably have enough for one application in here. But it's one of the high-end foundations. I want to go back and get matched up again and get a free sample and use that. But um, yeah, so that's basically, oh, one more thing, this um, NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in Raspberry Tart. Very noisy video, but I just wanted a change of scenery. This one laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, so on my lips right now, I'm wearing blush. I just do the most. But yeah, that's it, and I have a few um, bobby pins. So that's what is in my bag here. Let me just throw everything back in here. And I would recommend the Fit Me Foundation. Definitely the Pond Miller B3. Try that out. This um, eyeliner to brighten the eyes. Of course, my go-to mascara. And what else would I really recommend in here? 
That's it. <laughs> that is it. Thank you 